So the other day in Meep City, I bought this giant mansion for 500 Robux. And then the very next day, guys, the very next day, they updated. And now there's this. This beautiful two-story townhouse estate. Look at this, guys. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's way prettier than the party estate. Look at it. So we're going to buy this townhouse. Now we're going to switch our party estate into this beautiful thing, guys. This giant... Oh my gosh, it's so cool. All right, so let's actually grab some paint for it. And since we were a poor pleb before, we still have some plebby stuff, guys. Just bear with it. We'll change it right after. Let's still go with the blue theme. And we are still with the gray theme. Now, let's go inside our house and see how big a townhouse estate actually is. Wow, this is so beautiful. It has an upstairs. What is upstairs, actually? We got a lot of rooms that I have to decorate. I don't know how long this is going to take me, guys. And if we go back downstairs, we have a living room. That will be our living room. Is this, is this a giant kitchen? This is a pretty big kitchen, guys. Well, we can have a dining room in here. This is more like a small washroom and... Weird place. I think it's a closet. Let's start off with the easiest one to do, which is probably a washroom. Let's grab tile flooring in here and let's put up. Do I really want to see pizza when I use the washroom? I don't think so. Let's actually go for the blue stripes. For those who don't know already, um, if you're curious of why half of my stuff is blue, it's because blue is my favorite color. All right, let's go do this. I have no clue where to put this washroom. This, uh, this toilet looks so tiny in this washroom. Where is my bathtub? Well, we have our bathroom sink. Let me actually place this bathtub along this wall so the washroom could actually look a lot bigger. And let's move our sink to right here. I'm actually having a lot of trouble controlling this, guys. Okay, there we go. Sink, toilet, and that's pretty much it. I mean, we don't have mirrors in Meep City yet, so... Oh, wait, we do. Oh, my bad. Let's grab a mirror, place it right here. <laughs> that rhymed. Where's the mirror? We place the mirror and let's grab some toilet paper. Because you can't have a washroom without a toilet paper stand. Toilet paper and Dunzo. Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. Let's see. Does our sink? Oh, look at that. It works. What else do we got? We got our toilet. Does it flush? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I never knew that they had this much sound effects. And we can fill up our tub with water. Does this soap do anything? I think it provides no bubbles there we go our future washroom i can't wait to invite the whole crew and our fam to this house i think they're gonna like it all right now we are in the kitchen let's grab some wooden tiles for the kitchen and i feel like this wallpaper is kind of an eyesore in this room because look at it it just makes your eyes hurt because this pattern deserves to be in a much smaller space like my room maybe I feel like maybe I should work on my room first because that's like the most important place. So Funny's room should be in here. We have like an oddly shaped room, which I love to work with. Pizza wall and some blue flooring. Holy blue. This is a lot of blue, guys. Right now, I'm scrolling through this list and trying to find a nice bed. I feel like I do have one. Let me just get it, guys. I have this ice cream bed, but I really don't like it. You know what? My theme... For my bedroom, or this should be the guest bedroom, actually. I don't know, guys. We'll decorate it first and find out. It's going to be a pizza-themed room. We got to bounce on over to the furniture store because I am going to create the first ever pizza room in Meep City. Well, actually, I don't know if it was ever created before, but I am going to make it. Here we are at Home Improvement with Mr. Penguin. Let's grab some flooring right here. I feel like we do need cheese. And this kind of looks disgusting. Like, this wouldn't be cheese. This wouldn't be tomato sauce either, unless your tomato sauce has hair in it. The red carpet actually looks like tomato sauce, so I actually like that. I feel like I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy the red carpet, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with it. Red carpet for tomato sauce. Now let's go for the wallpaper. Yellow stripes. I feel like we're going to stick with the pizza wallpaper, but while I'm here, I'm going to buy some more wallpapers so our house can look very awesome. I just finished buying all of my wallpaper and flooring, and now it's time to bounce on over to the furniture store. And in this furniture store, we are going to buy all of the best pizza-themed bedroom things. These bean bags could actually work as pepperoni slices or even olives, but they don't have a black color. We could go for the zigzag rug for cheese, but I feel like it's not enough. So let's 
Oh, none of these yellows are actually strong. They're all so, so dim. They're like very dim yellow. So, oh no, this like totally ruins my whole plan. Out of the best things, guys, I think we're just gonna have to buy a zigzag rug. Hopefully, it does look like cheese, you know, like a mix of white and yellow cheese. This will look decent. And let's grab a bean bag for pepperoni. Since we do not have any red rugs, let's grab some bean bags. We're gonna make them look like pepperoni slices in our room. The bed, we should actually go for green. Add some greens in this pizza. Lastly, I feel like we do need, ooh, I feel like a cloud carpet wouldn't actually fit our theme. So let's go for a small, why can't I color anything? Where's the customization? Let's do a cheese end table, a bell pepper mirror. Does this room need a fidget spinner giver? I feel like it does, so let's grab some fidget spinners. We definitely do need a fog machine. And last but not least, guys, we are heading on over to the party essentials to grab ourselves some pizza, obviously. Phew, we are finally back in our house and I have to go upstairs and decorate that beautiful pizza room. I feel like this is way too big for a pizza room. So we are going to move the pizza room all the way over here in this perfectly square room. Let's get started on the red carpet first. There we go. It looks exactly like tomato sauce. That's kind of insane. Now, with, for the walls, pizza. Our classic bed, I'm going to put it straight in the middle to show... Oh, wait, that's not the middle. That is the middle. Now, it looks like green stuff on your pizza. We have three of these french fries. They look like french fries. Cheese quotation mark. Let's put some cheese here. Oh, we could actually slant it. Oh, I might have to go back to the store and grab some. Putting some zigzag cheese on the floor. I've just purchased some more cheese zigzag rugs so we could place them all around. Okay, let's do this. Cheese here. Now this has to be random, remember guys? If you would love to make a pizza room, Feel free. I don't know how expensive this pizza room is, but I know I have wasted a lot of coins on it. Okay, cheese. It kind of looks like ravioli. It looks like a ravioli room. All right, there. We have all of our cheese on the floor. Now we have to go ahead with our little cheese nightstand and put it right here along with our two orange wall lamps. I thought they would actually fit the theme more than yellow because too much yellow is a little overkill. So let's put a lamp here and another square lamp over here. Since this is a pizza themed room, you are obviously going to need a fireplace because that's how you warm up a pizza. Let's put a fireplace right here. And in front of our lovely fireplace, we're going to place a pizza table along with some dining chairs. Another dining chair over here. And in the middle of it all, we're gonna put one of my favorite things ever, a pizza. There we go. It's starting to look like a pizza room, but we do need some vegetables around here. So let's add some greens. Now we're gonna place our bean bags down that look like pepperoni slices. Squashed pepperoni slices to be exact. They kind of look like tomatoes also, but psst, just ignore that guys. All right, some Hawaiian pizza. We're mixing pepperoni and Hawaiian together. Some people are probably saying this is a nightmare funny what are you doing it's okay guys just just don't mind it let's place some pizza on our pineapple thing and let's place another piece of pizza on our pineapple thing now let's take a look at this room this room is looking pretty cramped i would say so we can put down one of our old rugs that look like bacon we're just gonna place it right there and this room does need a sofa couch so sofa couch here and let's actually get a tall lamp in here to bring out the beauty in this room. These lamps, you could pretend they are pineapple slices. But if you do not like pineapples on your pizza, you could just pretend they are cheese chunks. <laughs> I've moved the table over here because I thought putting it beside the fireplace was too cramped. And now we're going to drop our fog machine and place it there. So this place looks steamy, like a real pizza. Let's turn this on. What does this do? I actually never bought one of these before. Hello? Is it facing the wrong way? I think it's blowing into the wall, actually. There, we have fixed it. Now it is facing forward. Hello, fog machine. Do you actually work? Oh, that's all? It emits nothing? More fog. Ah, I should have got more of these guys. An Apple TV. Apples don't go on pizza. But for this pizza, we will put a fruity surprise. Boom. Nyan cat on the TV. Can we... Oh. Oh, is this a new future? Oh, oh. <laughs> what is that? That's a frog. Let's keep going. Let's not watch this channel. A dancing banana. Not in the theme. <gasps> Aw, Corgi's running on a treadmill. I think that's like one of my favorite channels. Let's see. What is this cat doing? 
It's a never ending loop of a gif. And back to Nyan Cat. I think I'm gonna leave it to this one. This one's pretty cute. And it's like, oh, surprise, in our pizza room. This pizza room is beautiful. Let's place our fidget spinner chest right beside the Apple TV. And we also are going to put a sign in front of the door writing, this is the pizza room. Voila, guys. Your very own Meep City pizza room. You got a Hawaiian table, two pepperoni chairs, a giant slice of pineapple, two pineapples over there, a fireplace, and a lovely area where you can enjoy pizza and then just go straight to sleep. Oh, wait. But this room is missing one more thing. The most important thing of them all. It's missing a toilet. That's right, guys. A toilet right here because some of us are just so lazy to get out of bed and walk all the way to the washroom. So why not have your washroom with you? There we go, guys. Here it is. The pizza room. Now, on to the next room. I feel like the whole crew is going to be living in this house. So I guess I have to build my room, actually, because... It would be unfair for me to finish one person's room and then the other one doesn't have a room. So today we'll be working on my room. So my room so far has an Oreo cookie bed. I still feel like this room is so big to decorate, but it's okay, guys. I bought a couple of stuff at the furniture store and we finally have a very cool gaming chair for my setup. So let's put my gaming chair right here. And we'll grab our PC desk. So when you first walk in, you are going to see the gaming setup it's not even touching the wall let's make it touch the wall all right the, well actually you would like to see the gaming setup this way because when you walk in you don't want to see the side of the desk to make it the ultimate gaming setup we're gonna put it like this too for the ultimate four screen gaming setup we're just gonna do this guys look at this this looks really neat and i love it so let's grab a bookshelf maybe place it beside the computers to make our computer look more epic some square, I feel like square art doesn't fit this, so we're gonna put this back. We're gonna change the wallpaper in this room. We got yellow, the pastel, the Dan TDM wallpaper, which I really like because diamonds and is blue. But let's go for, I don't really want blue stripes. Clouds are kind of boring. So I guess we are sticking with, for now we'll do studio foam. I feel like studio foam is like, what is in every typical YouTuber's office so our audio can sound good. I have a cloud carpet. Aw, that's actually so cute. Maybe right right when you walk in, so you know my room is awesome, you know? You get some fluffy clouds on your feet. Oh, no way, guys, look at this. The cloud actually gives off a cloud effect after you run on it. Now that's some effort, I like that. We do need a window in here so Funny could see some sunlight instead of being in a dark room all the time. An L cabinet, maybe like this. I don't know if this is like a style or anything. I'm trying to make something out of this, really. I also have purchased a beautiful lava lamp and I need a table to put it on. Lava lamp on this end table. Now this end table is looking groovy. I also forgot one more thing in the pizza room, guys. I forgot to put olives down. So this is our trash bin, but they will be in quotation mark olives. There we go. Now this room is perfect. In this giant empty area, I was legit like, what should I do with this? So I purchased myself a giant bouncy castle. You guys, when in doubt, you don't know what to fill your room with. Bouncy castle. Smartest thing ever. If you bounce, will you possibly hit your head on the roof? Yes. Yes, you will. Now, the walls in this room are pretty empty, meaning we need an inspirational poster when we wake up from bed. This is the best inspirational poster ever. It teaches you in life, don't get eaten, guys. I'm gonna put up some more gaming posters over here. Stop it, Slender. One of my favorite Roblox games. Well, this is it, guys. This is my new Meep City room. We have a new bench area to sit here while you admire the gaming posters. We have our new four screen computer. So now gaming is very nice to us. We have our teddy bear, our boom box to play music, our Oreos cookie sandwich bed, and last but not least, the best bouncy castle ever. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Roblox video. If you did, make sure to boop the like button down below for more. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. 
And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.